This is the audiovisual speech processing lab. We study whether and how children use visual cues on a talker's face to help understand speech and noise. As we've been wearing face masks to protect ourselves and one another, you may have noticed how important visual cues actually are because they haven't been quite as available. That's one aspect of how face masks can affect communication. Um, the other part is that the speech might sound a little bit more muffled to you and that's because it attenuates or softens some of the cues that are really important for understanding speech. And so the goal of our study was to understand how face masks are impacting speech perception in children with hearing loss, children with normal hearing, and in adults with normal hearing. Because of the pandemic, we shut down all data collection for safety reasons in the lab. And so to be able to do these audiovisual studies, we need pretty tight control over the software and the hardware that we're using. Um, and so the best option for us turned out to be just delivering the whole setup to families' homes with instructions for how to set it up and conduct the experiment in their own home. The setup was really simple and easy for families. We left them a mat um, that, they, that outlined exactly where to put the uh, speakers and the laptop that we also sent with them and the binder described how to plug in the speakers to the computer and then there were detailed instructions about just opening the software and running the study. We used a hospital mask, um, a fabric mask, and then um, these sort of transparent masks you might have seen that are pretty popular because they allow some of those visual cues back in. We use these tests to learn about children's use of visual cues, which can help us to inform things like intervention for children with hearing loss and educational practices. So what we learned is that if you are gonna be face-to-face -face, uh, with a kid one-on-one -on -one and they'll be able to see your face pretty well, then these transparent masks are probably the best way to go. Um, but if you are in sort of a bigger classroom situation where the kids are engaged in other activities and might not have a view of your face, the hospital mask, which provides the least amount of attenuation or softening of the acoustic signal, is probably the best option. 